so we're going to go and start in um, all fours, shoulders on top of the wrists, and then your navel into spine. You're going to bring your knees out as wide as the mat or as wide as you can. Not too wide, probably a little bit um, wider, a little bit wider than your hips. Um, toes, big toes together, and just go into your child's pose. So you can relax your head down onto the mat. If you find this very challenging, you can always use blocks during this session, very quick session. So say in your head, you wanna relax your head onto a block, you can. And we're just gonna go ahead and notice our breathing. Just take a deep inhale through your nose. And then exhale, release that breath. Just feel that breath traveling through your body from your fingertips and all the way down towards your toes. And take it one breath at a time to allow yourself to be present, allow gravity to do the work. You don't have to work here to so allow yourself to be present. And just notice and focus on your breathing. Notice how your body's feeling. And think of each breath as an inhale. You're bringing in all that good energy, bringing in all the good intentions, and you want to exhale, release. Anything that feels tense, tight, stressful, mentally release it through the exhale. Physically release. Softening the shoulders, the head, your neck. And feel your spine. Just allow your body to melt down into your mat. Now you can go ahead and just move your hips from side to side. Just feel your hip joints, feel your glutes. And allow your tailbone to reach back towards that back wall. And then feel your palms too. Feel your palms grounded. Relax the shoulders. Your arms can be uh, relaxed. You don't have to keep them, the palms and, or the arms straight. You can relax the elbows down. So I want you to feel nice and releasing down into the mat. Okay, I want you to take one more deep breath in. And then exhale, release. <sighs> Good. You can go ahead and come into your all fours. So you bring your knees and your foot in line, right? And then shoulders on top of the wrist. We're just gonna open up the spine. Take a deep breath in, shoulders, heads away from your neck, and then round the back. Just feel that stretch in your mid back. You can even move forward and back, and then come back into your cow. Open up your chest, shoulders away from your neck. And then you're gonna go ahead, exhale, round the spine, tuck your tailbone under, chin the chest, and then rock it forward and back. Come back to center, shoulders on top of the wrist. Inhale, open up your chest. And then exhale, really use your breath. Tuck your chin under, tailbone under. Rock your, um, shift your weight back and then forward, come back to center. Shoulders on top of the wrist. Inhale, open into cow. Arms extended. And then exhale. Take your time with your breath. Just imagine the breath traveling through your spine. Shift your weight back. Arms are straight. And then exhale. Come back to center. Open chest. Good. We're going to go ahead and rotate fingertips to the side. And then shift your weight from one side to the next. And go up and over to one side to the right. And to the left. Take your time, notice your wrists. Feel your palms planted, fingertips wide, and draw the navel in. You can even move your hips too along the side. So I'll turn this way so you guys can see. So shoulders right on top of the wrist, and we're gonna lift up and over to the other side. So if you go and shift your weight to the right, move your hips to the right. Shift your weight all the way up and over to the left, hips to the left. Again, another thing to note, you wanna keep your um, wide in the collarbone so your chest nice and open. You don't wanna round the spine. You wanna think open chest, releasing. Feel that energy through your heart chakra, through your chest. Keep that chest nice and open. And engage the core, navel in. Good. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and do a circle. So keep your arms extended. You're gonna move side, back, side, and front. And take your hips with you. So you're making a big circle with your hips as well. Good, and then we're gonna go all the way up and over to the other side. So you're gonna open up the wrists and, and then open up the, the hips as well. Good exercise to awaken the hips. Beautiful, in the wrist. Good, you're gonna come back to center, rotate fingertips back to the front, and then you're gonna round the wrist all the way around to the right and to the left. I'm gonna go ahead and curl your toes under, knees together. I'm gonna just stretch out your toes. You can go rock side to side. Feel the stretch in your heels, soles of your feet. And take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Good, and then come back a little bit more. Just kind of rock side to side. Inhale and exhale. Good, I'm gonna come back to center. Open up your knees and your feet hip distance apart. Strong arms, you're gonna go ahead and lift yourself into that downward dog. So give yourself a nice deep stretch through the back of the legs. You're gonna think heels down towards the mat and your palms are planted, arms are straight. Press away from the mat with your, your palms and forearms away from your wrists. So you wanna shake your head, yes, shake your head. No, loosen up the head and neck. And then if you want, you can go ahead and invite you to Move your um, paddle the feet. So bend the right, straighten out the left. Bend the left, straighten out the right. Just kind of open up back of the heels. And then your calves, your Achilles. Relax your head. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. You can even go a little deeper, like move to the side with your torso as you paddle the feet. Feel the nice stretch in the sides of your legs there, your hips. Gonna go all the way to the right and all the way to the left. Good, and then you're gonna go ahead and straighten out both legs, heels pressing down towards the mat. If your heels don't get down, it's okay. You wanna keep your palms planted. You don't wanna move your palms as well. And then we're gonna come down onto our knees and keep your chest nice and open, widen the collarbone. But draw the navel in. You want to go ahead and bring your palms forward a little bit more because you're going to bring your hips down, squeeze your glutes, open up your chest, shoulder heads back, then chest lifts up towards the sky, navel in towards your rib cage. If you want, you can lift your chin up a little bit so you feel a nice deep stretch. Again, shoulder heads back, widen the collarbones and get a nice deep stretch in your breastbone your sternum, and then exhale, come into child's pose. Ah, and then relax down. You can bring your head down. You can relax your elbows to your palms and just move your hips from side to side. Good, I want you to take a deep breath in and exhale. Good, I'm gonna come back into all fours. You're gonna transition from all fours all the way back into your upper facing dog. Open up your chest. Squeeze your glutes if you want. You can lift your knees and be on the back of your feet. Toes pointed back. And then exhale, bend your knees, come all the way back into a child's pose. You're gonna do that again a few times. Inhale into your upper facing dog. Open up your chest, draw your navel in. Navel in and squeeze your glutes. So that helps protect your lower back. Open chest and then exhale into child's pose. And two more, just like that. Think, notice your spine, one vertebrae at a time. Head last when you open up your chest into upper facing dog. And then chin lifts a little bit so you feel that stretch in your sternum, your breastbone. Exhale, come down. Your last one, open chest. Inhale, one vertebrae at a time, head last. And then exhale, bring your tailbone back, draw the navel in, and go back into your child's pose. Good, you can move your hips side to side, take a deep breath in, and then exhale, let it go. Good, and come into all fours. I'm gonna face this way so you guys can see. You're gonna bring your 
right palm into the center and lift and have your knees out hip distance apart too and your feet hip distance apart and extend that right arm twist keep your try and keep your hips squared or your hip bones facing forward so you think more of your lower back if you can't if you bring and then your arm fingertips up towards the ceiling you should be able to see your fingertips if your arm is way too back probably went too too far you want to be able to get your fingertips up towards the ceiling good exhale come down we're going to switch sides the left palm plant lift the right arm open and twist draw the navel in so think lower back take a deep breath in and exhale twist open chest good and then we're going to go ahead and switch sides inhale extend the arm good and then exhale come back down left palm plant right arm extend open chest on an inhale and then exhale we're gonna do two more inhale extend the arm good open chest draw the navel in exhale last one extend open chest good and then exhale come back nice and you can move your hips side to side good all right, so we're gonna come onto into a sitting position. All right, if you have really tight hips, you can place a block or two or a pillow underneath. You can sit into a comfortable seat. All right, I'm gonna use the block. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and feel your spine, tailbone rooted, and relax your hips and your toes. You wanna shoulder heads up, shoulder blades in and down your back. Just kind of roll your shoulders back. Feel your shoulder blades. And then loosen up the shoulders. A lot of times we hold a lot of stress there. And then we're gonna roll our shoulder heads forward. Feel the back. And then roll our shoulder heads up and shoulder blades in and down the back. You feel nice and tall. And then roll your neck side, front, side and back. And loosen up the neck. Good, and take your time. If there's one side that's really um, tight, you can stay in that one side, just kind of move forward and back and then all there. Good, and then opposite direction. Take your time, just feel your neck and relax your shoulders. If you find your shoulder heads shrugging up to your neck, take a deep inhale and inhale and then exhale, relax your shoulders down. Good, come back to center. Feel your crown extending through the sky and then rooting down through your tailbone. I'm going to take a deep inhale, interlace your, those fingers, and then extend your palms up towards the ceiling. Draw the navel in. Feel that stretch in all four sides of your torso. Take a deep breath in and then exhale. Feel that extension through the spine. Just bring your arms back down. You take a moment to Find your breath, just follow the inhale and follow the exhale. One breath at a time. You can bring your hands towards your heart space. Just notice your heart beating. Just feel your chest expanding and contracting. And follow the inhale, follow the exhale. And just think of something you're grateful for, bringing gratitude into your thoughts. You wanna seal that gratitude in your heart. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that helped. Uh, if you find value in this, um, give me a comment or like the video, share it. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care and have a good day.